Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teaches You. Today I'm returning with me, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just him today, and since I've been a bit of a Marvel kid going over a bunch of Thanos bugs, I decided to stick around in Marvel, and in this case, do one of my favorite Wolverine stories. A very nice, self-contained story, although it did set up some things that would be utilized down the line, like the um, the Gorgon, um, a villain who would be introduced and brought back during Johnson Hickman's Secret Warriors, among other things. Enemy of the State. Why is it called that? Well, we'll find out, but we got John Romita on artwork. Now, as an artist, since you're an artist yourself, where do you stand on Romita? Do you think it depends on his inker? Uh, maybe, yeah. Because I've heard so many people say, oh, I don't like Romita. He's one of the worst artists. I'm like, I think it depends on his yeah. inker. And in this case, he has uh, Klaus Jansen on it, you know, Frank Miller's usual inker. Mm -hmm. And he seems to be one of the better guys to handle even Romita. So, yeah, I, I, I don't really know about Romita. You don't? Like, uh, no, I mean, like, opinion wise. Ah. You know, like, uh, but, like, you know, I mean, I've seen some stuff that's really good and then some stuff that's just like, what? But, right. yeah, it, like, you might be right. It might depend on his inker. Or if he inks but, himself. Yeah. yeah it's not like Liefeld, who's like, you know, it doesn't matter who his inker is. It's going to be. <laughs> uh, I think, actually, no. That take, and, actually, if you looked at one of his most recent stuff, the Snake Eyes Dead game, mm -hmm. the final issue had a whole bunch of inkers, and it actually shows that some inkers can make his artwork look good. Okay. Well. It was, also one of the last, it was also one of the last things that Neil Adams worked on. Ah, okay. But yeah, let's just dive in. Why do, Why is this enemy of the state? Well, we'll find out. As we open up, <laughs> yep. When we open up in Japan, where Ichiro, um, he drove a big car, but he was far from rich. The rich guy always sat in the back. So he was basically a chauffeur writer, and um, his boss... His um, both of their sons played on the same little league. So when um, the Ichiro son was abducted, it thought it was the rich man's kid was taken by mistake. Because it was known that the two were very easy to mistake for one another. So uh, when that happens, well, the kidnapper wanted ten million U.S. dollars—a lot to find, even in his own uh, if his own boy had been snatched. The, I mean, the rich man said, but for someone else's kid, what could he do but apologize? Oh, uh, they, they try to go to the cops. Wasn't much good they could do either. Well, it turns out uh, Wolverine is good friends with um, his wife. And when they meet up, like, I hate Japan. It's so beautiful. I hate the cherry blossoms because it reminds me of the one time in my life the pain went away only to come back twice as bad. Ichiro was her cousin. Oh, so it's Ichiro he's there for, sorry. But yeah, it's the, it's the cousin of um, Mariko. Okay, okay. You know who Mariko is, right? Yeah, his, love, yeah. his love that she later on died when um, before their wedding after cutting her finger that was unknowingly laced with blowfish um, poison. Mm -hmm. Like, such a curious place, don't you think? A Christian graveyard in the heart of Nagasaki. We have the Spanish to sing for this, you know. 500 years ago, they came with their Bible. Do you think they saved the souls of these converts? Okay, wow! Uh, but, uh, but who are you? I was not expecting an American. Who am I? I'm your worst nightmare. That's who I am. Former Shield, former Weapon X. You never heard of the X Men or something? <laughs> uh, I ain't American. He's Canadian. I know. I'm, I'm a Canadian. American <laughs> Canadian. What's the difference? I assume that our money you have in there, ten million bucks. And then, uh, but when he opens up, he finds a bunch of folded T-shirts. Is this supposed to be funny? Actually, back home, that's something of an insult. An insult here too, little man. And and he takes them all. He, he fights them. And then a bunch of the hand jump out. You know who the hand is, right? From um, Daredevil? Mm, no, actually. Yeah, they're the ninjas that Elektra is a part of. Mm, okay, okay, okay. I got you, I got you. Yeah. 
They are um, Ichiro, the kid, flying halfway around the world in coach just to save a few bucks. Jackass playing Tetris, cramming all on, on cracking up at some bad Adam Sandler flick. The all way here. I'll show them where they can stick their crap. And there's the Gorgon up there. As Wolverine starts fighting them all, and he's, uh, his outfit's getting shredded, he eventually comes up on the guy. Please, I don't want this. I bet you don't. At one time and one time only, bub. Where's the kid? You think I'm playing by the rule book here? You think I'm Superman or something? I don't play. I plan on tossing you in jail, bub. You either get smart and use your brains in there, or Larry, Gurley, and Mo going to be coming out to play. Please. Where are you hiding the kid? Nobody's that fast. As he's been stabbed right through. They're like, wrong, Wolverine. The Gorgon is that fast. The Gorgon is this silent. And just in case you're wondering what happened to the boy, we fed him to our pigs. In other words, the whole point of the boy was to bring Wolverine out. They didn't care or anything else. So they killed him after they took him. Hmm. And then we see Kitty up with them, um, uh, I guess, a week later. My son, you like the bird eggs. That is his collection up there on the wall beside his photograph. He has starling, Grant Greenfitch, Wagtail, even Kirstel eggs. I tell him stealing from bird's nest is very cruel. And he said he was sorry and he would stop, but... Ichiro, so sorry for my English, Miss Pride. So sorry for breaking down like this. It's okay. Take your time. And I do like how the mother and the, his wife is the one like, our boy is dead. You can't say that for sure, ma'am. A mother always knows. Our boy is dead. And this is all we have to remember him by. A box of eggs and a basket uh, and a basket of cookies for my husband's generous employer. So eventually uh, you see then Electra is working with Nick Fury and S.H.I.E.L.D. As they come upon this um, in Minneapolis... Um, and everything they find that this has all been slaughtered by the Gorgon. The Gorgon's a ninja master, class two superhuman strengths, and stupid as it sounds, has the mutant power that lets him kill anyone else he makes eye contact with. Hence the shades. So yeah, they're trying to figure out it's like on oh, Inferi and her are just talking like this smells as bad to you as it does to me. Like a fart in an elevator, Electra. Like a fart in an elevator. <laughs> they just found Wolverine Pretty in South bad. America. And they find him all trashed up. Antiseptic stinks. Footsteps squeaking on hard wax floor. Starch linen sheets shaping my hospital. Who is this? Don't and don't you remember me? I'm insulted. Pheromones pumping, pupils dilating. I think she knows me. Three or four years back, the Scorpio mission. That number you gave me was a fake, jackass. I called you the next day, and know what I got? The Fantastic Four's reception de desk. Man, I can laugh about it now, but... Killer. What? Killer. You have to get out of here. What? Here's where you make the cuts. No mess, no fuss. And just a quick, like, Wolverine, are you okay? So this basically this is one of the many women he has triumphed over before, just for a one-night stand. So she's not like any actual character, just someone that's set up as, oh, he's met her. Fine, I know. But yeah, it starts to give her, you know, to adjust everything. Um, public relations says you're wearing the costume again. That's cool. I always like the costume. Mutants just look scary in that black biker gear. Dressing up like superheroes makes you so less threatening to people. Stay away from me, lady. Sexier, too. Please, don't do this. There's something really wrong with me now. Something isn't right here. Killer, shut up. Killer, you idiot. Your Hydra mission. Uh, yeah, we'll get the board of this. Started the second you opened your eyes. All she's doing is wasting your time. You want a drink of water or something, Wolverine? Your lips look awfully dry. Kill her! And he does. My God, you see that? What? Huh? Everything's starting to go to hell. Electric gets ready. And on everyone down. What? He's here. Hello, sweet cheeks. And that was the end of the first issue. Mm. Basically, the Hydra and the Hand are working together. 
You know about Hydra at least, right? Yes, I know Hydra. So yeah, just the idea of Hydra and the hand. And the hand is notorious for killing people and then bringing them back from the dead. They're the reason why Elektra came back after Bullseye um, killed her. So just imagine that, though. And their whole plot is, I'll just tell you right up front. Wolverine is to go around, kill other heroes so they can bring them back from the dead and be under, make an army of superheroes at their command. Hmm. So the hand with the resource of Hydra, that's actually pretty terrifying. Yeah. So what did you think of that first issue? Interesting. That that that's got me curious about the rest of it. Yep. Now it says part two of six. It's a twelve part story. It's just him being brainwashed only lasts six issues. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, he's trashing through them all. Oh, my God, I told him not to open fire. So yeah, all throughout all of this, he is still thinking of other stuff. Like, for God's sakes, Miss Nacho, do something. Not yet. Only going to get one chance at this. Okay, that artwork looks a little wonky. Mm, a little. Yeah, yeah. Her face, her face anyway. Well, I can't see her face. The screen is too small. But Oh, it is. Is there a way to expand it? Uh, oh, there it is. Cool. Okay. Okay, yeah. That. Uh, wow. Mm. Yeah. And, but she ends up um, stabbing him in the right places to paralyze his body. The way where her, um, uh, I got my thigh sticking in your deltoids. You might as well let go. Electra, treacherous little turncoat, trained by our left hand. But, and, but basically, this is the programming speaking to him. Hmm. Wolverine, these thoughts aren't yours. Do you understand? You've been brainwashed by Hydra, but that's nothing S.H.I.E.L.D. can't fix. I'm not here to kill you. I'm here to help. Blink twice if you're willing to cooperate. Something funny? Something funny, Wolverine? Um, oh, boom! You think I'm super something, turncoat? You think I could find, you couldn't find my way to the munitions room before I came down here? Oh. Look at that action. <laughs> and, uh, but then everything starts to, um, like, perfect. Like, surf's up, honey. Right on time. So, in other words, the Hydra programming has made him much deadlier. Mm. Much smarter, more cunning. Wolverine! <gasps> She's alive. The others will be dead. Head bashed and, and bashed my, uh, around by 100 mile an hour waves. But Electra always makes it. Clawing her way back from the grave. Nail snapping. Never giving up. Have to drown her. It's the only way. I'm so sorry, Electra. Hope it slows her down and give. So basically, you tell Wolverine he is fighting with it, you know, with it. With the the inner programming. programming stuff, yeah. Wolverine, you think I can't get out of this? You think a locked door is going to save you? A radiation containment suit, which is also known for dealing with high pressure. Beautiful. So yeah, as he's um making his way out of there, sharks kill them. Got a job to Wolverine. Hack at them. That was only just for starters. Get out of here and complete your mission. Hydra demands it. Ooh! Just sliced right through that shark like it was nothing. Yeah, like... Just routed it. Yep. Your security's been breached. What? Contact shield command. Find out if anyone's hacked into your main system mainframe. She's right. They said he's downloaded everything. Defense codes, Pentagon files, White House security details. Of course he did. That's why he tricked his way onto the ship. Don't you understand? I'm afraid you didn't find Wolverine, gentlemen. Wolverine found you. What are, what are the chances he never made it out of the water? Zero. Less than zero. Emma Frost picked up a set of brainwaves that matched Wolverine's description less than two hours ago. Whereabouts? Eastern Seaboard, but that's a spe and that's a, as specific as she can get for us. The harder she tried, the weaker the signal got. Supernatural Shield just confirms the hands all over it. So yeah, basically, yeah. Um, murdering their opponents and bringing them back to life as assassins in their death cult. Once they've killed them and raised them from the dead, they're pretty. They'll pretty much do what that and whatever the hand tells them to. 
like zombies, kind of like zombies. You think this is what happened to Wolverine? This is exactly what happened to Wolverine. The hand, Hydra, the Japanese mutant sect that involved, that's involved in all this, all they wanted was these superpower people on their side. Makes sense, superheroes are their biggest obstacle, right? Doing this kills two birds with one so stone. So yeah, President's giving them the go-ahead. Um, I believe the Hindus call this karma, Colonel Fury. Excuse me? If you take a man and turn him into the ultimate living weapon, you really can't complain when someone else gets their hand on the trigger. Not funny. Not trying to be. Oh! I get it. She's basically talking about how Weapon X did all this, but now the bad guys have him under their control, and now Fury's not happy about it. Yep. Is that, is that Air Force One? Uh oh. <clears throat> all these years, and this job still takes my breath away. Oh, it's a good thing. The Xavier Institute for Higher Learning. So, yeah, Kitty's there as they're all getting ready to, for what to do next, you know, because they're on lockdown just in case. Now, this is during the point when um, Pietro is still dead. So this is actually right in between moments, um, issue, the first few issues of Astonishing X-Men, since Kitty is back, but Colossus isn't alive yet. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we, meanwhile, at the Baxter building, they're being let out. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous with um, Sue? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is beautiful. Like the guy says, beautiful. Bend the central control. That's Reed and Sue and Johnny and the babies, meaning um, Franklin and Valeria. Alongside computer force field uh, and, and computer. Nobody's getting in and nobody's getting out till Shield's sure we ain't posing a risk anymore. Oh, yeah. 90% of accidents happen at home, bub. Uh-oh. Mm. So now we have Wolverine versus the four. Quite a story, huh? So yeah, Ben is helping out Johnny with, um, with repairing a car. A-56 Thunderbird. <laughs> yep. Or kind of. It's got a Corvette grill, but whatever. Well, knowing Johnny, he probably modified it. Eh. Or they're just, like, adding different cues on it so they don't get, like, you know, hit with a lawsuit. That, too. Looks a little yeah. like Christine, doesn't it? Yep. It does, actually. A little yeah, bit. It's just like Christine, and I think that's but, intentional. Like, you know, 50s, 50s cars, man. <laughs> yep. Meanwhile, we're seeing um, the Gorgon is keeping an eye. You know, they're watching everything through Wolverine's eyes. Mm -hmm. The new accessories re reworked the alarm system. It doubled back and is recording everything that went down 20 minutes ago. That means I got 19 minutes to. So 19. wait, does that mean that these guys are the voices in his head? or? No, no, that's already in his head. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Jesus, what the hell am I doing here? Read a buddy. Shut up. No, this ain't right. Read the buddy. My name's Wolverine. I'm an X-Men. These punks murdered me and resurrected me at the H Hydra assassin. These aren't my thoughts. Yes, they are. No, this is just another Hydra mission they've stuck in my head. They've And they're killing super people and raising them up as terrorist killers. Shut up! Baron Strucker, lean on the, in the appropriate parts of his personality, young man. Whatever makes him compliant. Bolt to the brain. Responsibilities dissolve like ice in Dr. Pepper. Just do as you're told, little Wolverine. Satan makes no judgment. Target Reed Richards, as we discussed, and his genius will serve us deliciously. As we see, Reed is in this um, other room. Um, um, Reed, just checking to make sure you're still um, reading the kids a bedtime story. Should I tell him you're coming up? Actually, I'm in a little in middle of something at the moment, Sue. Couldn't you read them their story tonight? They want their daddy, Reed. Franklin hasn't seen you in almost two days. They said you were going to tell them something that happened in the negative zone a while back. They were really looking forward to it. Reed? Okay, just pat punch me through to the bedroom intercom, and I'll tell them their story from here. This way, their father doesn't, doesn't disappoint them, and I don't have to interrupt this project I'm working on with Tony and Hank. But why stay in the think tank, Reed? If you're going to spend 15 minutes telling a story, 
why don't I take a little break? Because it won't be me that's telling the story, darling. I pre-programmed the intercom. Ah, for- oh, jeez, Reed. Really? You pre-programmed it? This chip contains all my personal characteristics, plus 5 million answers to an infinite number of questions. The children will never be able to tell the difference. Oh, really? And what about me? Excuse me? If you designed a synthetic personality so you could do two things at once, how do I know this isn't just some program I'm speaking to right now? Because the synthetic personality would have successfully selected one of five million choices to answer this question satisfactory, Sue. I'm afraid that's the only reassurance I can give you at the moment. Ah, oh, jeez, Reed, really? <sighs> Meanwhile, yeah, they're in a sink tank with um, Tony and um, Hank. Mm-hmm. All of them talking up. This is stuff that ends up coming into play later on during Civil War. Okay, so this is pre-Civil War. This is pre-Civil War, but okay, this, would, okay. this would actually be one of the things that would encourage them to do the law. And and Ben, and ben Johnny, Sue, I picked up Wolverine's gene sig in the, in, in the data room. Use maximum force to subdue property damage. Acceptable. Now you're singing my song, Stretcho. Ben, no, not this! Wham! Nice car. 1957 T-Bird, House of Color. 57 T-Bird, okay. Uh, pink pearl with a pearly white top, power steering, and three-speed manual transmission. Ford, don't build them like that, any Flame on! What am I talking about? <laughs> oh, but, oh, he stabs right into the, um, or he overrides the um, fire procedure. Oh, jeez. But then Ben shows up, they tussle a bit. And, oh boy, Ben is doing a great job. I, I always think the Ben and Ed, the thing, he deserves to have his old popularity back. You know what I mean? Yeah. I always wondered who would win in a fight between Wolverine and Ben, actually. Yep. Oh, uh, all... like Wolverine couldn't stab him, could he? He just did. Oh. So he yeah. can. Susan, I'm entranced, but you need, uh, but I need you down on my, on Microverse. What have you done with the children? Are they locked in the nursery? Sending them 20 minutes into the future, Reed. Shield should have answered a distress call by then, right? Okay, that's actually clever. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and then there's Reed. We need to talk. The hell we do. And I love this. He actually is stretching to compensate for it. But it turns out they actually put in a teleportation system on the Wolverine. But you like the idea that he could stretch um, as much as he needs? Oh, yeah. And then um, lungs freezing. To uh, on, make another move, and they double in size. On, trouble catching your breath, Wolverine? That's because there's a little force field sitting in each of your lungs right now. Make another move, and they double in size. I don't care if you're sick. I don't care if you've been brainwashed. You come to my house, and you threaten my family, and to me, that means you're fair game. Did you know I can turn your optic nerves invisible? Oh! He now can't. He's blind now. Oh, and then some people, uh, another um, Hydra agent, flies, you know, flies in, gets them out there. Johnny catches up with them, and they continue to, um, to fight it out. Until they crash down. And then for a moment, they think, um, that's Johnny. Hey, didn't your cousin used to date Johnny Storm? Sabrina? Nah, the other one, Diana. Didn't they have a thing going for a while back? But turns out, it's, um, it's Wolverine. Because, of course, Johnny's not going to burn up. And, yeah, he gets out of there and now, like, contact aim. Tell them we now have a disc and containing Professor Reed's most radical ideas, and we would like them to begin constructing these concepts as weapons. Contact the hand. Tell them we wish to redouble our outfits to infiltrate the superhuman community and create ten new super ages within the next seven days. Then I want you to find Wolverine and bring him in. I want him retooled and ready for a brand new assault on Tony Stark and the heart of the American banking industry. Hydrosynchron bankroller arrives at midnight tonight. I want everything in order before she gets here. Now, I want to make this very clear ahead of time. Yeah, this is not really Baron Strucker. This is a clone of him, but we don't know that, and we're meant to set up that he is the real one. And given what happens later on, yeah, knowing he's a clone makes more sense. Mm -hmm. 
But it's the good old... What? It's the good old uh, misdirection thing. Well, yeah, it was more of a case of where it's more of a case where Mark Millar was treated as like this was the real Baron Strucker, mm. and then Hickman will later reveal, uh, no, definitely not. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So, what have you been thinking so far? It's interesting. Yep, he killed him, Colonel Fury. Wolverine just killed Spider Man. What? <sighs> like, like, don't worry, he ain't d- dude. It's all right. I witnessed okay. a Wolverine and a hundred Hydra agents attack Stark International at 10 and 27. But, and by 1041, they slaughtered security, raided the files, and trashed uh, uh, every Uncle Sam defense program we've been working on. Iron Man out of town. And then, like, what's weird is that after all and doing all this, Wolverine spots this little dog. And you know what he does after murdering all these people? He pats him on the head like nothing happened, and the dog looks at his hand, and he's smiling, sir. What's And what kind of sick freak takes time out to pat a dog after murdering 20, 25 security people? An animal lover? Wolverine in costume in costume when he pulled his attack? Uh, and, oh, yeah, anyway, they look up and like, what are you talking about? This isn't Spider-Man. So what's he doing wearing Spider-Man's mask? That's not Spy- in Spider-Man's mask. Spider-Man's got webs and big bug eyes. That was a, what's his name, from the Slingers. The Hornet. Right. The Hornet. Poor guy. Goes down in in, light, in the line of fire and nobody even gets his name right. Ouch. Yeah, what the hell? What the hell made him think that Spider-Man? He's not even wearing a mask. He's wearing a glass thing. Boy, that is, that does suck for him, doesn't that's it? That's just, that's, that's. That's disrespectful, right? Undignified. But at least Fury's calling them out on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. If you can all stand back, I'll handle. I'll be. I'm happy to handle the decapitation. The hell are you talking about? Hydra's ad- allied with the hand here, Colonel. Disconnecting their brains from their spinal column is the only way we can pre- remove this corpse as a potential terrorist threat. Now, unless you want to be fighting this superhero again, like you've been fighting Wolverine. I suggest you stand back and watch your clothes. Ooh, now she's doing some training, and she's I'm working freelance for S.H.I.E.L.D. at the moment. And throughout all this, we find out that Elizabeth Von Strucker is the Baron's third wife and the fourth witchest person on the planet. Until three weeks ago, we didn't even know she existed. That's how smart she is. They say she's 175 years old and has number, and numbered four kings and three presidents as her lover. She's also been funding Hydra since 1957. Elizabeth is a Satanist, a chess genius, and an old, old friend of Madden and Blavowski. Bla- 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 I'm told she was even the cash behind some of the world's biggest corporations. Surprise, they're Satanists. And, and, and don't be. One brief glance at their company's logo should tell you what they get up to when the sun goes down. Okay, Mark Millar is clearly putting in some of his own personal politics into that. But look at that. She's doing all this in sports in her underwear, pretty much. Thinking mm-hmm. all this through her mind when the Hydra comes at her. Well, if you're going to attack me, you might as well do it now. And she takes them all out. Just reminding us how badass she is. Fury, this is Electra speaking. They know I'm in town, and they know you have me on your payroll again. But that's not why I'm calling. I just had three perfect ideas for capturing Wolverine. I'll give Millar this. He may, I like how he makes her so casual, you know what I mean? Mm. It's like nothing phases her. The thing is, though, this lady reveals she's actually a, a scrawl imposter. But that's not until Secret Invasion years down the line. Oh. I'm assume I, I assume I'm assuming you caught the news, Emma. Just a picture of the cathedral exploding and exploding. Any ideas how many casualties? And estimates are between forty and fifty, but miraculously no fatalities. Obviously, she's talking to her telepathically, and then later, listen, are you talking telepathically? I just realized your lips aren't moving. Sorry, touch of laryngitis. Maybe you should cover up a little more. Hilarious. <laughs> So basically, yeah, she's working with the separate cuckoos and trying to find anyone else. And then we find out that, uh, yeah, um, 
Baron Strucker's being cucked. <laughs> well, he is, because look, his wife is snoozing, is, is cuddling up to the Gorgon. Yeah, I see it, I see it. Do you That's see why funny. I did? Do you see part of the reason why I said it would be later revealed he was a clone? That's... I mean, the guy's a big thing. Basically, Mark Millar's disgracing Strucker. Uh, like, are you going to bed? Yes, but not with you. Just be a darling and play uh, the Ma Meister Singer von Nuremberg, would you? Wagner always tells me to relax when I'm making love. See what I mean? Cucked. Absolutely cucked. <laughs> Although the idea of him actually, this actually being a clone that these two are utilizing to take control of Hydra would actually make more sense in the long run. Wouldn't it? Yeah, it, w it makes more sense that he's a clone, but like, still, that's... that's I know, the fact that Malar was writing is like this really was Strucker is disgraceful. Well, look at me, yeah, Captain America is um, helping out, finding a bunch of them with Falcon. Wolverine took, um, after he um, took some characters away, he then saved a, um, a a woman being attacked. So again, tells you that he's in turmoil. The good man's side is doing what he can against all of the Hydra brainwashing. <laughs> then they lost the connection um, as all the power went out everywhere. The Hand are making their way there to go after Daredevil. Right. Where's your bodyguards, Murdoch? Shield figures were only after super creeps with big, no noisy powers. Well, they're wrong, Bob. Uh, the hand's been after you for a long time. Oh dear. So seeing John Romita Jr. back to working on Daredevil is going to be a big treat. Because you know he's the one who did um um uh, the Man Without Fear was um, Frank Miller. I understand you're a religious man, Murdoch. Uh, um, uh, Norman, I'd be, uh, I'd be nice and let you whisper a prayer before I pop my claws in your face, Maddie boy. But I'm really not that sweet anymore. And, of course, uh, Electra helped save him. Ooh, right in the guy's face. Get out of my house, Wolverine. So, but, well, but Matt's dealt with the hand even this many numbers before. And then, nope, but then we have Electra going against the Gorgon. You don't have to say it out loud, Electra. I know what you're thinking. How did I miss that shot? I haven't missed a shot in five years. Not since that wind changed that time in Budapest when that big, fat, ugly drug kingpin took a bullet in its left eye and I was aiming for its right. My name's the Gorgon. In case you are wondering, it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Gonna have to sh uh, shield your thoughts better than that. Apparently, yeah, this guy is a, a slight telepath. That's why he was able to pick up Wolverine saying, how is he that fast? And use his powers. We know how well they are paying you to stop Wolverine and find our nest, but only a fool would believe that money was your motivation here. You have a certain history with the hand. A history with Hydra, too. And so you feel you have some unfinished business to settle with these enemies of yours. Oh, I like her catching it like that. So why not settle it now? Ooh. Great fight. And great fight here, too. Mm. I said, off of me, Bob. And hits him with a dumbbell. And then he falls right onto a sword. Even better than I expected. This really has been most amusing, Electra. The time, but time is running out. Breaks the sword, reveals that they, uh, yeah, breaks it entirely. And then, yeah, he just beats the crap out of her. Oof. Wolverine, are you? Not good, Maddie. Head feels clear for the first time in a while, but my lungs are filling up and I gotta get this mask off. So damn sweaty under the stupid thing. What's happening, Wolfgang? Why isn't he responding to our instruction? The system's going into shock, Elizabeth. I'm contacting the technicians now and organizing a spaceship. We need to bring him in as soon as possible. Don't come any closer, Matt. I don't know how long this is going to last. 
I just need to tell you something, and you got to make sure it gets to Nick Fury. You hear me, Bob? They're going after POTUS tomorrow night. This is all part of um, Bart of Strucker's big finale, and they're going to have me take him out no matter where they got him hidden. Who? Hydra? Hydra? The hand? The hand? These Dawn of the White Light mutants? They're all part of the same thing now, and they're working and for, and for Strucker and this creepy new wife of his. God, this hurts. Hang on. But you didn't bag a mess. I beat you. Oh, Matt, Matt, Matty, Matt. Don't you understand? You were just the freaking bait, kiddo. As they wanted Electra. So obviously, POTUS, of course, president of the United States. And then he realizes Electra was there, and now she's being reborn, and now it's going to be under the, um, the hand sway again. As we get to the final issue of the first half. So this is where Wolverine's going to be recaptured. By the good guys, I mean. As Kitty is inside, um, talking with um, Rachel Summers. Now, look at that couch. Doesn't that seem off? Hmm. But yeah, they're talking a bit like, Shouldn't you be in bed? You tried, but all the kids are so worked up about the Wolverine thing that their dreams were driving me crazy. Thought I'd just stick to some TV for a while and try to keep my mind off off the guy. Here they got Electro over on their side now. The shield creep was telling me that's why they doubled their presence. Well, basically, a guy earlier touched his hand when I brought him some coffee, and he's got a girlfriend and a baby he didn't want me to know about. Why are some uh, all men such loathsome creatures and creeps? Not all men, Rachel. Just most of them. Ouch. So basically, there was a shield guy that she was liking, and turns out, yeah, uh, creep. But yeah, after a nice bit talking, he leaves. She leaves. It's that was Wolverine sitting on the couch, and it turns out he took the terraformer um, gadget that um, Reed and um, Tony and um, Hank were working on. And basically, this thing could double like a bomb, too, because it's almost like the Genesis device from Star Trek. It's doing something good, but it would cause damage to anything that already exists. Good boy. Good Wolverine. The little cow shaking too hard to even think about causing us problems. She won't alert the others now. As he basically wants to have her use Cerebra, that's the upgrade of Cerebro, to um, psychically attack the president. Shut up, Wolverine. He's talking about what terraforming is and all that. Don't think, and don't think I'm scared to die, Toots. Honest truth is, that would be a relief after two world wars and all that crap I've been through all these years. Shut up, Wolverine. Nobody's interested. Just get on with the job and stop feeling sorry for yourself. Cute the way they've changed the codes like it would make a difference. You know I got implants that can crack any code. Shut up and stop showing off. What's the matter with you? Is it the fact that this little brat looks so much like her mother? As yeah, they're ready to um, order him what you know what to do at every uh, order her what to do, and right as she's working on it, then you see Wolverine and Wolverine, Iron Man and all that, and then it seems like he's act she's actually doing it. All the while, this the, whoever the person is talking, you know, the boy, the the system, it looks a lot like Gene too. Same eyes, same lips, same. Shut up. Just admiring her is all. Don't even think about touching her. Shouldn't keep wriggling like that. Uh, if she doesn't want trouble, touch her and I'll kill you. And then, turns out, though, she and Telebacky reached out to Reed Richards to take the whole plant thing apart. You plugged me into a machine that lets me read the minds of anyone on the planet. Well, Mr. Man Fantastic designed that thing. And that means you've got nothing, mister. Remember, she's also has a bit of the phoenix in her. And mm -hmm. that everything's starting to go to hell. Jump. He keeps jumping around, teleporting. Everyone's freaking out. I thought Psychus couldn't pick him up. She can't. She's going negative, picking up reactions of everyone around, around him. I like that, actually. That's clever. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Northstar, by the way. Uh, but yeah, he goes in the hangar, takes the Blackbird. Die, mother -furp! Ooh. Now, by this point, Colossus is alive, so this would have been a little bit into the Astonishing X-Men stuff. 
Of course, that Cody clashes everything because Wolverine was involved with the events of all that. Whoopsie. Which my guess is they didn't want to spoil the reveal of Colossus being back during that prior issue. Mm, or maybe the left hand didn't know what the right hand was doing. That too. But yeah, he starts kill- gunning a bunch of them, slashes havoc. Everyone's just fighting as he keeps teleporting around until eventually he kills Northstar. And they finally just knock him around a bit more. He teleports until finally, got to get myself together and Wolverine, heal this! And he's finally down for the count. But yeah, but they lost North Star. And then this is the point then where because it was such a major loss, Baron Von Strucker is ready to just lay himself down and be killed. You know, know, kill for his failure. The ring, please, Wolfgang. Elizabeth, hi. Wolfgang, darling, don't embarrass yourself. Not in front of the others. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. You're right. Right as always. Just ask to remember my achievements too, eh? And make sure Electra succeeds where Wolverine and my other gra- uh, grand hopes hit the skids. That's all I ask. Oh, she'll ex- succeed, my love. The Gorgon here has su- such fine ambitions for Electra. H- and hail Hydra, immortal Hydra. We shall never be destroyed. Cut up a limb and two more shall take its place. Hail Hydra. Yeah, yeah, so he was dead. See again what I mean? Such a disgrace. If this was written like this was the real um, Wolfgang von Strucker, this would have been, that was just a disgrace. But yeah, it's like, but yeah, eventually, what are they saying when they have Wolverine? We've got our little killing machine back. So how is that for ca- and capturing Wolverine? Makes sense, doesn't it? That they finally planned it all together and everything just blew up in their face. Hmm. Wolverine. Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. If we get a little bit of a backstory with more with the Gorgon. Tomi Shishido said his first words when he was two weeks old. He was walking at three months and reading and writing on his first by his first birthday. By the age of four, he established himself as one of five best painters in modern Japan. By his sixth birthday, he composed his first opera and attempted suicide for the second time. Age 13, Tomi devised a mathematical formula that proved without question the existence of God and discovered what everyone else knew the moment he was born. Tomi was a mutant, one of the gifted ones. He discovered he could turn people to stone by looking at them, and the TV networks dubbed them the Gorgon. Over the next four years, the Gorgon ran a mutant death cult called the Dawn of the White Light and subjected Japan to a relentless series of terrorist attacks. Age 18, he went in search of something darker. As he goes up against the hand, fights his way through, takes them all out until he comes before, um, before one of their higher ups. And um, this place, how can it be so big? From the outside, it's only do not concern yourself with such small things. Tell us why do you seek an audience with the hand? I wish to serve you, master. And basically, he then t- and kills himself and says, resurrect me. And I love how that guy's like, <laughs> The artwork's been great on all this, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been... I mean, there have been some that's kind of just like... uh, Uh, But that's when he gets, I think, way too busy with it. I know it's when he does the smaller stuff, it's when he's at his best. When it's all over the map, Mm -hmm. it can be very simplistic. More simplistic. Yep, and now there he is with um, Strucker's wife, Elizabeth. And um, then we see the Spot. You remember him? One of Spider-Man's villains. Yeah, I think I remember him. He was in a big time, and they actually made him badass in the '90s cartoon. Yeah, that's. I think that's where I remember him from. But yeah, he, he goes around and he soon finds someone else, and then he's taken out. So yeah, thanks to Electra and was um, um, without Strucker slowing things down, they're actually getting a bunch of um, more heroes. Now, of course, they're ready to take off Northstar's head, unfortunately, and it's upsetting to all of them. But then Electra shows up with a bunch of the hand and take him away. All the while, then, we see um, that they got Northstar. What? I thought the X-Men were guarding him. No guarantee. That brings a total of 41 steals this week. 
Forty here and four heroes and thirty-seven villains. Villains are harder to organize and easier to pick off. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we see them Wolverine here. He then get all of a sudden busts out because he thinks they screwed up. He's getting gunned down and all that, and uh, yeah, gains through everything. Seems to kill Nick Fury, but then he sees this one woman. Can't kill you. You're three months pregnant. What? You got a baby growing in there. Excellent. A little progress at last. What the hell are you doing here? Thought I took your head off downstairs. No, you just took part in the same simulation we've been running for the last three days. It's a virtual reality construct designed to deprogram you, Wolverine. None of this is real. Not the wall, not the blood, and certainly not the people. You and uh, you really think we'd had and have we'd have a, had a handful of guards watching over public enemy number one? Repeat sequence and note the file. Pregnant shield agent recognized and spared by subject for the first time. What? You've gutted, got, you've gutted her almost two million times, Wolverine. The fact you just hesitated is a genuine breakthrough. It means we're finally circumventing all that nasty Hydra brainwashing you endured. Another half a million simulations, and I have every confidence you will, and we'll have you back to your charming self. <laughs> Neuro wipe on the simulation. Commence in T and T five picoseconds. I gotta say, that's clever. That's how you gotta but you get you undo it. Mm -hmm. You keep doing it over and over until he finally starts to gain control again. But then Northstar and uh, Electra and a whole bunch of the villains and all the others they picked up are coming in. And fear at all points, we've got trouble. Oh, that's a classic cover. I mean, you know, taking a classic cover and reworking it, I mean. Yeah. Oh, boy. Shield helicarrier getting attacked five miles over Arkansas. As, yeah, oh, boy. Big damage. Big attack. I gotta say, this whole story is just one big summer blockbuster, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, Northstar uh, pounds on him, and then they realize they have no choice but to release Wolverine. So he's not perfectly back to normal, but at least he's partially back to normal. Oh boy, so they start taking a whole bunch of them out, uh, and these bad guys back out. Oh! Oh no, it's you, ain't it? Like where and where and where did they? Ooh, he's just taking down a bunch of these villains. And uh, eventually, God, is that? Well, well, well. Looks like your nice shining armor just arrived, Fury. Like, leave these people alone, or I'll cut you all over again. Come on, then, run. Let's try and get the, get it right this time, huh? As the whole shield color carrier color it crashes into the ground. I think they went with Arkansas because it's mostly farmland. There's nothing there anyway. <laughs> Just trees. Dan, did you hear what they said before we lost the link? Did you hear whose voice that was in the background, Gorgon? Wolverine. Who cares? Even if he lives through the Hella character going down, what's he going to do, uh, uh, Elizabeth? We've destroyed one of their main command posts. We've blown up all their second their, their backup stations. With S.H.I.E.L.D. command down, their agents will be running around like, thank you, headless chickens. But Chief, of course, is all like, uh, Chief feels like, oh, no, nope, we still need to be, you know, keep an eye out for everything. So, yeah, Wolverine is there. Eventually calls up on Ichiro. What are you, what do you say, and you, what do you saying, logan son? that Rikudo was kidnapped, that my boy was kidnapped and murdered so your enemies could lay trap for you? No, you wait a moment. You wait a moment, please. Is that what you're telling me? They'll pay for what they've done, Ichiro. I swear it. I don't care how many people I have to kill. What? What are you talking about? Is this what to make us feel better? Our son is dead, Logan son. Our only son, and it is all your fault, Ichiro. Why must you kill everything you touch? Let me talk. Logan son, it is Fukuku. Fukuko. Oh. Please forgive my husband's outburst. He would not accept that our son was dead. And your call? Well, this confirmation was very painful for him. I'm sure you understand. 
I would be most grateful if you would return us and turn our child's body to us so that we might give him a civilized goodbye. And as for this offer you made to wreak havoc and vengeance on his kidnappers to kill the men who snatched our baby, I want you to do it, Wolverine. I want you to hurt them like no one in this world has ever hurt them before. Ooh! <laughs> So yeah, Wolverine Barney gets all of his uh, gets his old suit back up, and he's ready to take the fight back to them. And he's going to do it all on his own. If you notice, this other this second half is going by a lot faster, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and yep. Wolverine's keeping an eye. He's following everything behind until he can figure out what to do. Eventually, he finds up on um Jean on Jean Paul Northstar, Logan, Jean Paul. Heard you become Shield's little whipping boy out there sniffing around trying to spoil our fun. How did you manage to track us down? You were always beatless at best, Jean Paul. Uh, even when we were back in Alpha Flight. Ouch. What happens now? One of those big superhero fights where you spank us for being naughty boys? No, just give me the same chance I got. These aren't your thoughts, bub. Your head's just being screwed up by all that Hydra brainwashing. Oh, yeah. Well, I'd say the real brainwashing was all that garbage Charles Xavier used to fill our heads with back at the school. All those guilt trips and impossible aspirations. Can you believe I had to pop pills every night just to get out of bed in the morning? So he basically saying now he seems to almost be embracing this a lot more. Of course, we don't know for sure because we're not in his head. Right. That's supposed to intimidate a human jukebox. Uh, what does Tweakle's to toes do over the endure? Break dance? Oh, we see a whole bunch of people show up. No, he's a teleporter. And everyone's fighting. It's like, how's Nick Fury doing? Nick Fury's doing fine. But we're not here to talk about Nick Fury, Dr. Weinberg. We're here to talk about Wolverine. What about him? What the hell are you doing authorizing his release without clearing it with ac an acting commander, Dugan? Have you forgotten what we're dealing with? An X-Men? Don't get smart. Wolverine's been public en enemy number one for three months, and you said yourself you never got a chance to complete his re-education. But you be relaxed. He'll be fine. Are you high? Guy's the most dangerous mutant in the world, Doc. He's a killing machine. Shield's just been splintered into thousands of pieces. The superheroes are in a panic. Nobody has a clue where Hydra is building these su new super weapons they're boasting about. Don't you think a crazy little psychopath is exactly what we need right now? Besides, if you're angry with me for releasing Wolverine, you'll be seething when you hear what he asked me to sign off on. Hey, Wolverine, wake up, man. You're, uh, and basically, they're you know, he's talking to them all, like, tell me where the Gorgon is, and you get to walk away. They grab uh, and they soon grab him and realize that there's a reading on him, um, some type of um, so, uh, something that would cloak mutant gene. Why the hell would you want to cloak your mutant gene? I don't want to get stomped. Oh, three sentinels! <laughs> Damn right. And well, takes out one of the sentinels. Goes for the other one, but they're able to deal with him all. And while Wolverine's down below, they start grabbing a bunch of these others, just knocking them all out. And then with um, him, he's like, you think I'm some kind of moron? No, I think you're an X-Men, Chief Paul, and an old friend. And me being the one that put you in the situation. I figured I kind of owe you this much. Now, where's Hydra Supreme Commander? Where are they building these machines you told me about? You really won't lay a finger on me? Swear to God. Kiss my... <laughs> um, he basically... Uh, shield, Wolverine the Shield Command. I've got North Star wounded and in need of urgent care outside an Alaskan oil refinery in what looks like the Kenai Peninsula. Over and out, Shield Command. Okay, Sentinel-1. I want you to flan the rest of these punks until there's nothing but blood and paste. Sentinel-2, I need a ride. Me and you are looking for the hand. That's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> we only got two more issues left. No, three more. Three more left, sorry. But yeah, they soon head over to one of the hands locations. 
And, well, what do you think happens? Oh, but there's a lot of the hand who get on top and actually start to take it down from the back. And you have that many of them, eventually it's going to come down. And he starts flying, fighting his way through all of them, just slicing them right through until he makes it through to where Electra is. As she walks on up there, and yep, you may execute him now, Electra. Now this leads to one of the dumbest moments. Can you hear me, Wolverine? What? Your psychic defense has stopped me from penetrating your thoughts. So I'm speaking to you without sound or language. Are my words clear enough to understand? Basically, they're talking through body movement or something. Hmm. Or through violence. It's that whole speaking through violence type of thing. Kind of like with Cassandra Cain. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but turns out she's still on the good side. Why? Well, they already did it to her before. Doesn't work that well a second time. So, yeah, like, you're out of your mind. There's way too many of Out of your mind. Stop whining and focus. Enjoy, enjoy this as much as I am, you hypocrite. Oh. I thought they murdered you and raised you from the dead. They did. I thought you'd gone over to their side. So did they. But I've been killed and, re and re resurrected by the hand before. Hell holds few surprises for me. You mean you planned this? I've been in deep cover for the last two months. But that helicarrier you helped crash killed over 200 shield agents. Very deep cover. Infiltrating the hand means I'm, I've not, I'm not only taking apart the most dangerous assassins in the world, but I've and found the seven secret location, locations where Hydra's been building their super weapon. I know where they live, Wolverine. I know where the, the Gorgon and his people are hiding now. Wolverine, the shield command. I need a pickup. <laughs> you okay, sir? I think I'm in love. <laughs> well, that was convenient. So, yeah, Kid, and Kitty unfortunately feels bad about what, what happened because, you know, he, she let him phase right through her and get North Star. It's impossible to know how you'll react until Logan's actually breathing down your neck. Look at me. Everything I've been through, you'd imagine I'd cope amorally. But truth be told, I was terrified as any of the X-Men undergraduates. I'm one of the most powerful mutants in the world. I should have blasted him into space, but just I just acted like an idiot and did whatever he told me to do. If anyone should feel guilty, it's me. Oh, please. There were a million variables outcome, variable outcomes from your encounter with Wolverine, Rachel. That's like blaming um, Hitler's grandparents for deciding to have children. Not a bad um, analogy. But yeah, we don't see Wolverine is still trying to get through his mind. Like most of the program is gone, just not all of it. And unfortunately, now they're doing the same thing to North Star to try and help him out. We see him in the showers. He just thinks about the boy, Atro's son. And that's all he's doing this for. As they're getting ready now to go, him and Electra are ready to go in and on. You understand what we're asking you to do right here? Absolutely. You don't have a problem um, hitting these kinds of numbers? Hell no. Then can't wait to try out this tech he gave us. Poor Nick. 50 years he's been going head to head with Tydra, and the night we close him down, he's lying half dead in some damn shield hospital. Again, that's the other thing. They're making it seem like this is the end of Hydra here. Which is why eventually Jonathan Hickman would then say, nope, Hydra's still around, still strong as ever. And he would get a much more um, better send-off for Hydra and for Hydra and, um, and Baron von Strucker than, um, than Mark Millar here ever did. Because mm. if you're going to do it, you don't do it in a dumb summer blockbuster-esque story. But yep, they're being attacked as they come in, and they um, amazing what these bastards will do if you knock a few years off their jail time. Ha! Tombstone. Um, I, I don't know who some of the others are. Yes, uh, I recognize Tombstone. And I think that's the Constrictor. I have no idea who the rest are. 
Hmm. But we see Gorgon with Elizabeth again as they're just talking out between each other. When all of a sudden a um, missile comes in, blows up, he's fine, she's dead. Finally. Wolver- yeah, Wolverine transports in, they start fighting it all off, but they start to stab him. They really go at him, but he's a lot tougher than he looks. Uh, took down Electra, dumbass, world's greatest ninja. What chance do you have? Oh, this isn't Wolfgang Strucker you're fighting. Oh, right in the throat! Like your, like your mind goes deeper than we thought, Electra. But I can read the whole thing now. I can see who else you've been working for, naughty girl. And I see where they've got fury. Up oh, and they transport there to where Fury is, and he's going there to kill him. And here comes the final um, issue. Hope we'd all be able to show you the next issue. There's one, a one-off issue that's also a really good one. That actually, Mike Mark Millar had some insight from um, Will Eisner before he passed away. Mm. Oh, yeah, they get it out from there. As um, Although he's still able to talk, even though he technically should it with a hole in his throat. Even with the healing factor, it should take a few moments. So, yeah, he's um, heading on over there where they see, um, uh, yeah, Electra is still like, huh, what are they waiting for? Shoot him. Shoot Gorgon. Oh, but our conversation is most silent here. We speak at the speed of thought. Haven't you noticed? Oh, seems that she, he seems to kill her. As he then um, blocks their weapons, Wolverine keeps on teleporting over there. Because he still has the teleportation thing they had get that Hydra had given him. Makes his way all the way there. They, he takes up, and Gorgon takes up the guard. Is ready to go for Wolverine and for Nick when Wolverine uses a jetpack to tackle him out. They lay into a big fight and everything. Just a big damn one. They're striking hard. You see, uh, you, I know what you're thinking, Wolverine. You believe this is a noble death, a warrior's death. Idiot! You have accomplished nothing here. He tells me, on uh, uh, Punk tells me, uh, all I've done is nick some base he didn't even know and, and even have two months ago. Off the old broad, he was going to murder anyway. Killed a whole lot of people who saw death as a reward. But then he gets nasty. Using his powers to dig deep down and pulling up all the weeds that could choke a man's soul... All the things they made me do. You've killed everything you've ever touched, Wolverine. Why the hell can't I kill you? So what does he do? The most obvious thing he should have done long ago. Uses his claws as a mirror. And Gorgon's gone. Mm-hmm. So, all right. I hope and what? Hope Blaze is crawling with super agents or something. What the heck's going on here? Did all these bits and pieces used to be a person? Sorry, Bob. No time to chit chat. Well, buddy, you need to see a doctor. Relax, I can take care of myself. Literally, liver's already gluing back together. Good old liver. What the hell were we talking about again? Tell Fury I'm sorry, but this ain't over yet. As we see all the all the while he eventually got out. Electra, she got resurrected again already. Or she's still alive, either or. She can already confirm that um, that Hydra is still going to be going. Um, Northstar is still trying to get deprogrammed. And Wolverine's been trying to find out where um, Ichiro's son has been buried. And eventually, back in Japan, Logan's son. Is this where a child is buried? Out here in the cold? I'm sorry, honey. More than you can imagine. And that's the end. Hmm. What did you think? That's interesting. Well, let's do the other issue first before we go any further. Okay. This one is set in World War II, and it's a story that Mark Millar wanted to do for so long. The story goes that it was supposed to be a six-issue story with Wolverine in an internment ca- in one of the other camps. Mm-hmm. But Millar did not re- know how what to do, how to make it work right without being disrespectful. Until he, when he even talked to the Will Eisner, who had no idea much about Wolverine, but eventually he told him, um, just don't have him talk. And then they condensed it down to one issue, and this is what we get. As we see, a new head of the camp is brought in. The other one had died before. 
And when you and oh geez, just look at that! Isn't that creepy? Mm. So yeah, he's there. He's ready to make an example. He feels like you know he has all this special wine and all that stuff. Um, some of these bottles have been in my family for over three hundred years. Uh, and Schrenker, Berlin is such a strange, unpredictable place at the moment. I feel better knowing that if I'm going to hell, a few bottles of my finest red are coming too. He then sees Wolverine just standing there, doing nothing, saying, get to work. So what does he do? He has um, um shot. And like, in back of the head, uh, com- and com- Commandant, not right away. I want to make an example of him, of him for all these other slackers. Back of the knees. And the other one. Right, now you can shoot him in the head. But the next day, he's back again. And he feels like, what? what is this? What's going on? Don't talk to me about respect. Respect is doing your job properly. Now tell me, how did you manage to fake that bullet wound? Uh, and how did you pull this off? As he then shoots him. Like, multiple times. But, as they're talking about, like, something wrong? The man over there. He's the one we had shot last week. The one we shot twice. Don't you recognize him? Oh, dear. So what does he do? Walks up and shoots him personally. But he's still there, and he's this guy. And the commandant's starting to get more and more unhinged by all this. And um, it's almost noon as he wakes up and says, "One of the prisoners just isn't dying." What he says is telling you and he had a talk. As Wolverine survived the gas chambers, so basically he just feels like, like he, I know, like I know what you are. Basically, he knows he's a mutant. Who sent you here to make me look like a fool? Answer me, damn it! And tell me why you picked on me. <laughs> he starts, starts wailing on Well, first, before he says, like, they, this could go on for months. You could be my punching bag. But that smile makes him lose his shit and then cause everything to catch on fire until, Mother! <laughs> Sometime later, we see a new Commodore come in and singing almost the exact same thing. The honest truth was, we were locked up in there with him. For Will, with much affection. Nice ghost story, wouldn't you say? Mm-hmm. So, overall, what did you think about all of those? Uh, like the, the arc where he was, uh... Yeah, the whole, uh, the main arc first. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I liked it. It was all right. But, like, I liked the storyline. Yeah, but the fact that it did kind of do a little too much shake-up, if you ask me, that needed to be undone later on. It just felt like Millar wanted to do all this stuff, but then being so disgraceful to Strucker, who's been around since Captain America. Yeah. And I thought the stuff with Wolverine was really good, him trying to fight it. And actually, there's one mm-hmm. other story we could go over. Um, hold on. Because there's actually a what if Wolverine didn't get saved. Want to see that one too, since it ties in? Sure. All right, just a moment. So basically, it tells us what if Wolverine, like I said, did not get deprogrammed and he continue on. And basically, there's a set of what if his um the program eventually took over. And you already saw how scary he was then, so imagine how he is here. Yeah. And this is written by Jimmy Robinson, best known for doing uh, Bomb Queen. But we see, yeah, Kitty is there. She's one of the last ones left. And she's saying, like, I didn't want it to end like this. They would be, t- and they said talking would be useless. But they meant everyone else, right? He never, and he never, I'm his angel. He never hurt me. As we then rewind to seven hours ago. Basically, Wolverine has already captured and captured a bunch of people. Spider-Man. So many others. Luke Cage, Iron Fist, they've already killed the president. Um, we see Captain America, he got um, maimed during that encounter. And he's going off with um, Su- um, with Magneto, Kitty, and Sue. And they're all trying to figure out what to do. They have one, other, one thing to do. Magneto's going to use his powers to disrupt the teleportation abilities. Um, Captain America is the bait. Kitty's able to face through stuff, 
and Sue is their best powerhouse. We see him take out Moon Knight. And that, but unfortunately, Sue is the first one to go. We were screwed from the start. Uh, and, and she tries to use her powers, but like this little piggy had a t- uh, tritectomy. You know, basically cuts it through so he can still breathe. He is just completely lost there. There's nothing you now holding him back. But yeah, Sue is dead. All right, nice wheel. Play a little murder ball, Cap'n. And, but then Wolverine, like, this is why Hydra avoids me. They know the disadvantage of an adamantium skeleton. And fortunately, without him keeping the field up, Wolverine can teleport and kills Magneto from behind. And then um, Kitty grab, uh, tries to help, but Cap insists on keep on going. But then Wolverine kills him. So now it's just him and Kitty left. And as he th- she thinks back to about North Star, she's just freaking out. She's having a breakdown. As we think, look at all the other heroes he's killed and they have come back. Everyone else. People are now hating heroes because of all this. And I, it's like, I always recover. Recover this! Oh! He cut her arm off and his hand faced right into his face. And we find out that this was the whole point. Captain America did all this because um, he knew this would happen. That she just had to let go. So that would have been a darker way of ending it. Mm. So overall, though, this overall story, would you say this was just, like a, again, a good popcorn flick? Or do you think there was probably some good stuff? It was, yeah, I, I would say it's more of a popcorn flick. Yeah. But it was a good one. Mm-hmm. Agreed. And what about that ghost story? The ghost story was good, yeah. That was like one of those cases. Like, it seems like one of the most natural things to do was Wolverine, right? Mm. So overall, what would you rate? Okay, what would you rate the story, the artwork, and then the overall package of the main story? Okay, let's see. Well, I mean, like the first and third things you said, it was, they're basically the same thing, right? Yeah. Uh, so for the story. Probably a solid eight, I'd say. Yep. Entertaining. Artwork, artwork, I'd give a maybe a six or a seven. Yeah, some 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 points it looked rough. Other times it looked amazing. Yeah, it, yeah, like it, it was it was never really just kind of like average artwork. It either looked really good or it was like what? what whoa. Whoa, yeah. whoa. But but yeah. not other shit though. It's more like a what am I looking at here? Yeah, it's yeah, it's like, well, that looks off. <laughs> I think that like like Electra's face in that one panel was like Yeah, that, that was shooting an old lady there. Looked more, more like an old lady than his actual old lady design. Yeah, well she that... just looked weird. It, it, it wasn't I I didn't think she looked like an old I didn't even think of thinking she looked like an old lady, honestly, but like she just looked weird I, right. I, I don't really know how to describe it but she looked weird right well that's all we got on this one i'm glad you could enjoy me for this one dan yep mm-hmm. i always have fun with these yep well i'll see you though on the next one and take care bye bye <laughs>